Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for all of his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic will be Haggai. A confirmation from the Bible. But before we start, please share our videos. Help us to bring the message out into the world. Help us to call the people out of the world and out of Babylon onto the path to Mount Zion, where they will be raptured into paradise. Walk with us. Become a member of triple grace.com. There, all the resources, all the videos, all the teachings are for free. Enjoy them and learn. Learn about the new path. The path that will bring you to the glory of the Father, where his throne of glory will be on top of Mount Zion. At the sixth seal, we will all be assembled as a multitude clothed in white at that mountain, at the holy mountain, that is not carved by human hands. And then we will be raptured into paradise. As brothers and sisters and as true sons and daughters of the Most High, of Yahweh. Now today our topic is what many people have requested. Are there any Bible verses that confirm Mount Zion or that are confirming what we are proclaiming in our videos? Now our brother, our beloved brother Tim Foster 405 made a great study and I have nothing to add to it, only to give it back as it is and I will put in the first pinned comment a link to his website so that you can watch it completely. I will finish this video then afterwards, after the study of Haggai. I will finish with a prophetic word about the great exodus. This was given, I believe, on the 27th of July, not far ago. And if you look at this, it is exactly what we proclaim for many, many months now, that you should leave your careers and you should leave your world and come out and leave the churches and come out onto the new path to Mount Zion. We have given the order from the Lord to prepare the societies of the earth for you as a vehicle so that you have a new assemblies of love and righteousness that you can create outside of the world and outside of Babylon, where you will come together in love, unity and support. Share your resources, support one another, without any fear of any calamity or problems that might come, without fear of the Antichrist, without fear of governmental uh, services that will not be rendered anymore, because now you will all come together and support one another and share your resources. It will be a community of love as it was in the book of Acts. Something special. And now the Lord is saying we have to restore. Restore this true assemblies in the book of Acts again. But to do that, we cannot remain in the world and we cannot remain in Babylon. We have to come out and find our path. And on this path, we will bring as many people as possible to righteousness. Please listen to the words. By the way, if my image freezes, this is because of the bad internet connection we have here in Cambodia, because we have started the mission to Cambodia. Please pray for us and also help us with donations. Be kind so that we can be kind to many, many people here, that they will see the light and come from idols and false gods to the only living God and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your donations. Now let us continue with the study about Haggai so that you see that everything what we are saying is in the Bible. So 
So, can Hey Guys Prophecy provide a time frame for events? This is a study guide of Tim Foster 405. And I will give it to you exactly as it is. You can then go to his website and watch all the other videos that he has. He has a great information about what is coming right now. Let's recall the words of Jesus and heed the accusations he gives to those who are slow to believe. Luke 24, 25. Jesus said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Haggai was a Hebrew prophet during the building of the second temple in Jerusalem and one of the twelve minor prophets in the Hebrew Bible and the author of the book of Haggai. He is known for his prophecy in 520 BCE, commanding the Jews to rebuild the temple. His name means my holiday. See the dates below and take notice that the remnant is already taken by the 24th day of the six months, and three months later, on the 24th day of the ninth month, the good seed, the sons of the kingdom, are back home safely in the barn. In between, we have Feast of Trumpet and Tabernacles, the festive gathering on Mount Zion, and finally the shaking of the heaven and earth. Is this the season? Let's start with Haggai 1. Then Haggai, the messenger of the Lord, spoke to the people with the Lord's message. I am with you, declares the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel. By the way, Zerubbabel means somebody who is born in Babylon. The spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest and the spirit of all the remnant of the people, of all the people who will walk the narrow path towards the holy mountain. And they came and walked on the house of the Lord, of their host, their God, on the 24th day of the month in the six months. Listen, the, the work now in the temple, the, now the temple is our own body. So now we are restoring everything back. We are building a, a perfect temple for the Lord. This is what Haggai is saying. Not only of the old time, but even of the new times now. And that everything will start on the 21st day of the month in the six months. Then Leviticus 23. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe a day of solemn rest, a memorial proclaimed with blast of trumpets, a holy convocation. This is the Feast of Trumpets. Haggai 2 In the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai, the prophet, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest, and to all the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? It has become now because now all the churches have done wrong, and the temple is not built correctly. We do not have the assemblies of old of the book of Acts. We have not seen the perfect glory and the former glory. So how do you see it now? Is it not as nothing in your eyes? For thus says the Lord of hosts, Yet once more in a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations, so that the treasures of all nations shall come, come in, be ruptured and gathered. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. The shaking of the heaven and earth and the nation, this will be the time of the seals. This will be the time when the Antichrist will be with us. 
And you have to be now the remnant to be outside of the world and outside of Babylon. Look at Hebrews 12. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the church of the firstborn. The, this should be the bride that has gone in the escape, who are enrolled in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect. The righteous made perfect. Is it not that in Daniel 12, 3, you are called to bring as many people to righteousness as possible? These are the people that he's talking about. The spirits of the righteous made perfect. Made their clothes white in the blood of the Lamb. And to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant. And to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who is speaking. For if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. And then Haggai 2 verse 18. Consider from this day forward, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, since the day the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. That was the twenty-fourth day of the sixth month. Consider, is the seed yet in the barn? Indeed, the wine, the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree have yielded nothing. But from this day onwards I will bless you. And then Matthew 13. The field is the world, and the good seed are the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one. If you see here that you are all called in Hebrews 12 to come to Mount Zion, we are all have to go to Mount Zion, we all have to walk that path. We have to come out of this world. The six months in the Torah calendar. The 21st day is the 25th to 26th of August. Even if it's according to the Jewish calendar, then we will reach the 24th of September. But it's just around the corner now. So be very careful if the people are calling you out of the world and out of Babylon. Don't just say, these are wrong ones. Don't be one of the foolish ones who have not heard.